I'm on a quest to build the entire Wild Brain Seasons of Ninjago with only zero dollars. Today we're building Ninjago's 11th season, Secrets of the Forbidden Spinjutsu. Will this be another great episode or as big of a failure as this season was? Let's find out. So now let's see what we can do to build these figures. For Kai, I actually have the correct torso, but it didn't come with the right headpiece, so I'll replace it with the Legacy one instead. It just lacks a symbol. I also have Kai FS, which is supposed to be Kai performing Forbidden Spinjutsu, but this figure is actually non-canon. Kai never performs Forbidden Spinjutsu in the show, but it's interesting to notice how the leg pieces are the same. For his custom weapon, I'll take a dragon handle, a red stud with a hole, golden sword, and the bottom stud of an antenna piece. We can slide it on and we have a good weapon. Next up we have Jay. I have a total of 3 figures but none of them seem quite right. Tournament Jay is sleeveless but the suit in the show is quite tight. Stone Armor Jay is too armored so let's just use Fusion Jay. I'll replace his head wrap with a proper one. Now for the nunchucks we'll need to do some building too. I'll take a dragon handle, attach the golden chain and two blue studs on the ends and a brick built golden hook blade because I don't have the actual piece. And now with those two figures done, we can do coal. I only have one coal figure that could almost pass, but it feels lazy to just use a wholesale coal minifigure. So what I used to do is to replace the arms on this foot soldier from Ninja Turtles with minifigure yellow arms to give coal a sleeveless look. I know I said not to take out your minifigure arms in my very popular video from last year, but let's see if it's actually possible. So I'll carefully take the arms off Tournament Kai and with a bit of luck, we did it. This time we'll give Cole some armor and his hairpiece. We could also build his new hammer with bricks to complete the set. And moving on, let's go to Zane. I'll take his movie outfit and core legs to match the actual figure suit as best as I can. Then we can give him two golden shurikens, which is what he actually uses in the sets. Next for Nia, I'll just use the movie figure because it's the only grey figure I have and as usual, a custom weapon. This time she has a spear. And finally for Lloyd, the last ninja, we'll just use the outfit we always have been with a golden katana and a black tassel. And now our ninja team is done. It actually looks really cool with all their custom accessories. But now let's build the villain of the season, which is Asphira. 